as some of you know the website had a major crash where we sorted that out um I say major it's a, it's, it's not like it was insurmountable to fix it was just that uh it would be major for the user end because it just got a blank page um that's fixed there's, there's nothing wrong with the, the site at the moment um but there were lessons learned there as as always i, I think i've said that before and made the same mistake so perhaps i'm you know i need to be more vigilant on testing things separately rather than bunging them in but you know it's an early project so you know it's expected to you know a few uh, rough and tumble sort of scenarios here and there i've added a uh, notes option and i was going to put it to allow people to just anyone to see a notes of a unique link to shareable but uh i think uh it'd be more like more the, the intention is like um private notes so you now have a private note section where it's just like your blogs you know where your blogs are, pro are can be posted friends only or, or just public um anyway public by default but the your notes are unique to you only you can see your notes but it's the same editor right it's the same blog editor align your text and put videos in if you need it to pictures in whatever you want to do with it and these are useful things for a page to put your links in useful links useful pages a link to maybe articles on a main blog or a website outside of the main site uh, that is perhaps nothing to do with us but they put your notes it's just a notebook uh, in a, literally a static page where you put your notes on um i was gonna make it where you could put several pages but it's just one note page i'll see what people think if they want extra pages maybe four pages it's different ways to do that and certainly we want to expand the blogging side of that eventually like linking like um, you have your main blog article you might link to static pages extra pages for that blog i don't know uh we we'll think of something um it's not a major leap in doing that it's just a few tweaks here and there and linking it into those aspects that all work very similarly uh, rather than something that would be more complicated to link to something else that doesn't work quite the same but it would be linked to an option that um is you know it's a different tool or whatever for instance like you know making your own chat rooms is obviously entirely different to what you do with your blogs um combining those i suppose well that's another thing see you know making chat rooms embeddable is possible you know um although i don't you know those are things i like to theorize and just play with uh, in my mind and then there's you know see what people say on the can we have this or that sort of pages like the um request site like request uh, page that we have the group page so just a short update in a nutshell there for you i need to get in a routine of checking the date there it's not 25th today it's the 26th today at doing this video appreciate everything though uh, i really do all the interactions lately and i appreciate replies back and so on like i said i was going to change that at the top of my head as well to something more like uh, the latest activity latest member activity that's what it should be latest member activity from you know you know you just lado posted or emily posted or whoever posted uh jack uh you know just 
Jerry Woodward or so on, whoever. Uh, and we have you know, you know, this handful of users can all get recognition for their efforts curating this. Um, the best of the best will get show dates for using the platform with valuable or interesting information you get your teeth into. If we find out that you're just completely bullshitting without backing it up, we tend to ignore that and go to something else. And you know, if you're deliberately bullshitting, uh, we might even uh depends you know if you just parody humor that's fine but if you if you're telling lies about certain sets of information for uh selfish ends without really improving the ability of people learning anything new that we'll probably kick you off a platform uh particularly those individuals who use platforms for drama and donations yeah kick off the drama so it gets views and then convince people that something's going on that isn't uh, you know you know the type we all know who does who's very prolific at that stupidity um the uh, what we've seen on youtube um 2019 and 2020 in the long run, it doesn't work. This, you know, in, the individual I'm thinking of is just uh, annihilating himself. It's a slow, painful, self-induced death of his own YouTube channel. I think that this would be because um, it's growing like like some kind of fungus, if you will. The the lack the realization of his lack of credibility is growing and growing and growing right across many different communities. The reason why that, that individual backs the wrong horse all the time is because he, he wants that drama. You know, you, you want people to respond, you know, like, are you kidding? Why are you doing this? Or, or this can't be right. This can't be true. And he come back, say, oh, proven, provable, provably, and uh, actually his favourite words, and yet nobody sees any proof. It's just a complete circle of blaming and claiming he's got proof, then blaming them, and so on. It is pathetic, but it is also comical in in, in a laughable way, laughing at the freak of the circus show, uh, as, as it's we have said before, but we won't entertain that on Exploring Minds. If we see that going, you'll be kicked off the platform. That's not what the platform's for. And it really, everyone really wishes that YouTube would be better moderated, but uh, I think one of the Achilles heels of a platform like YouTube is it gets so big. Um... And there's ways right now. I think they got the money really to spend enough uh, for human moderation, but the laziness of this is get so big. Oh, let's rely on AI systems, automated systems, to check what's going on when and when a video gets flagged, falsely flagged, and people abuse that. Um, you can report posts on our website but a human being sees it and it's exploratoryminds.com I'll see it Emily will see it and you know uh, Jerry will see it if something gets reported and for instance you know I was gonna because you got our terms and conditions right but at the moment when you click report um we do have a fill out, you, you type in your reason, which is good. We want to advance that a little bit. Uh, you know, you'll pick a category, like if somebody was condoning terrorism or whatever, uh, you just pick one, you know, terrorism, racism, 
sexism. But we're not, you know, you've got to find a very fine line to walk because you get the weak minded snowflake type of people crying about uh, victimization just because they want the attention to look like a victim when they're not. It's like, oh, he called me a mean word. Yeah, get over it. Grow up pair, you know, or, or grow up even. But uh, it's okay. You know, we have, I think it's nice, that, a good idea that we have the ability for people to report posts at the moment and just put your reasons in and we see it immediately. We get notifications and see it administration end all right so that's all i got to say at the moment you know you got those notes this was really an update about the notes thing very simplistic very easy to use and a left hand bar uh sidebar you you'll get to click notes and you'll see your notes if you click uh edit account you can add your notes in the edit account um page we got all these options for setting up your donation as well. If you got a PayPal, you donate, they have set up a donation link for your profile and so on. Yeah, you just account settings. So at the moment, just one more thing to say before I end the video. At the moment, you know, you're edit account page would have your basic settings your bio if you want to change your bio uh, site application installer where you can create an app, an app to access the network uh, donation settings and your notes you know you create your notes right there and you just basically got the same editor as the blogging editor and the um, bio editor as well for that you got for the notes you can go full screen or just within the window once you're adding those notes that's it really peace out thank you very much for watching take care and i'll look forward to doing another video soon i'm off out today to see a friend and fill them on in on what i'm doing because they're interested as well cheers bye